Hi students, I am Priyanka Jain and I am a verified educator at the Unacademy Plus platform. You can watch several of my plus classes. Okay, I have soon started a catalyst batch course for the whole inorganic chemistry. You will see all the inorganic chemistry in this course and this is for the upcoming June 2022 exam of the CSIR net as well as for the GET exam, okay? So if you want to see different of the my lectures, different courses, you can see on the Unacademy. Take the subscription of the Unacademy. And if you want to see the free classes, there are also several free classes. Every month I take several free classes. You can watch these free classes without taking subscription. So for this, you will have to uncode my code. My code is Priyanka Jain 10. By clicking on this code, you will get the link for my classes. Thank you. Hi students, welcome in chemistry classes. I am Priyanka Jain and you are watching the videos for the non aqueous solvents. Okay, so in our last lecture, we have studied about liquid NS3, about liquid HF and about liquid H2SO4. Now we will see one more of the reagent that is liquid dinitrogen tetraoxide that is called the liquid N2O4. Okay, so we will study about liquid N2O4 as a solvent. So, first of all, as like all other solvents, we will have to study about the auto ionization. As like other solvents, N2O4 will undergo self ionization and it is forming NO plus plus NO3 minus. So, any substance that is giving NO plus is acting as the acid, okay? And any substance that is giving NO3 minus in liquid N2O4 is acting as the base. So, what we can say? We can say Acids are the substance that are giving NO plus ion or the cationic species in liquid N2O4. Similarly, bases are the substance that are giving NO3 minus ion or the cationic or the anionic species in liquid N2O4. Right? So, see here. Suppose we are taking NOCl okay, in liquid N2O4. Then it will give NO plus plus Cl minus. Okay. So, right here 2 NO, 2 NO plus and 2 Cl minus. Okay. Now, 2 NO plus can react with SN. These whole reactions are reversible. So, it is forming SN plus 2 plus 2 NO. Okay. Now, SN plus 2 plus 2 Cl minus are reacting together and it is forming SNCl2. Okay. So, the whole reaction, what we can say? 2 NOCl plus SN is forming 2 NO plus SNCl2. So, from this reaction, you can conclude that this 2 NOCl, NOCl, okay. NOCl is acting as the acid in liquid N2O4. Okay. Similarly, a compound ET. NH3 plus NO3 minus. If you are taking this compound, okay, if you are taking this compound in liquid N2O4, it will release NO3 minus ions. So, it is acting as the base. It is acting as the base in liquid N2O4. See here the reaction 2N2O4. It is auto ionizing and it is forming 2NO plus plus 2NO3 minus. Okay, now zinc will react with 2NO plus and it is forming zinc plus 2 plus 2NO. Now see 2ET NS3 plus NO3 minus. Okay, this is the compound. So it is reacting with zinc plus 2 and with 2 NO3 minus and it is forming ET NS3 whole twice plus ZN NO3 and whole minus 2 and it is forming 2 NO. So, here this compound is giving the NO3 minus ions. Okay. So, it is acting as the base. Now see the one more reaction that is solvolysis. Solvolysis is similar to hydrolysis. As we have seen hydrolysis in the case of water. What happens in hydrolysis? 
in hydrolysis salts reacts with water okay and these are forming the acids and the bases similar type of reaction can happen in the liquid n2o4 the salts of the liquid n2o4 will react with the solvent and it is forming the acid and bases for example c1 reaction n2o4 first see its auto ionization it will form 2no plus plus 2no3 minus now cao okay this is a salt it is reacting with 2no plus and it is forming ca plus 2 plus n2o3 okay and ca plus 2 is now reacting with 2no3 minus so it is forming ca no3 whole twice okay so the net reaction that is happening is cao is reacting with 2n2o4 and it is forming ca no3 whole twice plus n2o3 so this is a better example of solvolysis reaction similarly the solvolysis of metal halides solvolysis of metal halides can also occur 2n2o4 is reacting with znx2 okay so first see here its ionization okay now it is reacting with zinc halide so its cations are reacting with it and it is forming zinc plus 2 ions and it is forming 2NOx okay now this zinc plus 2 ion is reacting with 2NO3 minus and it is forming zinc NO3 whole twice okay so the net reaction that is happening is 2N2O4 plus zinc X2. It is forming 2NO plus X2 plus Zn NO3 whole twice. Okay. So this is the solvolysis of the metal halides. Similarly, the metal carbonyls can also be solvolyzed the solvolysis of metal carbonyls can also occur see here what will happen n2o4 is forming no plus plus no3 minus now you can take here mn2 co whole 10 okay this is the metal carbonyl it will react with no plus plus NO3 minus ions or we can say it is reacting with N2O4 and it is forming MnCO whole 5. Now you can see this metal carbonyl has been broken into two parts. One part is reacting with NO3 minus ions and the another part is leaving one of the carbonyl ligand and it is forming this one. Okay. So this is the solvolysis of metal carbonyl. Similarly, FeCO whole 5 can react with 3N2O4 and it is forming FeNO3 whole thrice plus 5CO plus 3NO. Another important reaction Another important reaction is the solvation reaction. Yes, the hydration happens in the case of water. Similarly, the solvation can occur in the liquid N2O4. 2N2O4 is forming 2NO plus plus 2NO3 minus. Now, CA can react with this 2NO plus plus 2NO3 minus plus N2O4 and it is forming the solvated species co no3 whole twice n2o4 plus 2no so this is the solvation reaction okay so in this way these are the whole reactions all the important reactions about the liquid n2o4 as a solvent i hope you all will like this video and if you are liking please comment me meets you in the next video with some more topics thank you